Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so back in June, a company called Core Essentials got a hold of me and wanted me to check out one of their track belts. And what they ended up sending me is legit one of the most comfortable belts I have ever used. Let's check it out. All right guys, so check this out. This is the Trophy Titanium Ratcheting Belt Buckle. And the actual belt here has a pebble pattern on it and it's made of full grain leather. And the middle section is made of what they call flex core. And if I take this belt buckle off here, I'll give you a nice little cross section of what inside that belt looks like. You guys see, there you go. So what makes this the most comfortable belt I have ever used? Well, it's pretty simple. I've never owned a ratcheting belt in my life. And I basically want to thank Core Essentials for sending me this thing because I had no idea what I was missing. And if you can see this Sonin track system right here, this is what makes it so unique. There's over 40 sizing points right here and they're all in one quarter increments. So like every other belt I've ever used in my life, there's about seven or eight holes right here and they never ever ever fit right so i'm taking out my leatherman or a knife and i'm taking out the awl and i'm making myself a hole and then it looks like crap and then it just still never fits right and then throughout the day i'm eating i'm walking i'm doing whatever and you know your waist fluctuates so half the time i'm looking like some creep in the corner trying to unbuckle my belt buckle here and trying to loosen it up or tighten it based on what i'm wearing on my belt that day but with this system makes all that obsolete. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So you can actually buy the belt buckle separately. There's titanium belt buckles available. There's stainless steel, um, there's alloy buckles. Um, that's why I was saying they range anywhere between $25.95 and $90.95 for this guy right here. And of course, before I get into that, you know, you can get the full grain leather, you can get nylon. There's all kinds of different belts that you can get there. But let's get back to this. So what you wanna do is pretty ingenious actually. So right here on the inside of the belt, you're gonna see sizes. Now it looks like they range anywhere from 28 to 44. But what you wanna do is once you know the size of your own waist, which I'm a 32, what they want you to do is add four to that and then cut it. So that's what I did here with some very sharp scissors. Made a nice little clean cut and then open up the belt buckle here as so. And you can see those teeth. So I think now you're starting to get the idea here. So what you wanna do is open that up, slip the belt in there, and then you can already see the holes that I've made. Just close it up and that's it. So then what makes this so great is then once you put the belt through the buckle there and watch this listen that is awesome so you can see what's going on right there so they got this little spring-loaded caliper here so you can see once i start to pull it that little caliper there that spring-loaded caliper has that little tooth on it and every time you pull it it just goes a quarter inch up every single time. In my business, I wear a lot of stuff on my belt. I wear a leather tape measure holder on the back. On the side over here, I have a 316 speed wrench. On the other side, I have um, you know another C wrench. I have Leathermans on me. I have all kinds of stuff weighing my pockets down. So I need a legitimate, comfortable belt. And I'm constantly, especially after lunch, either loosening up or tightening my belt. And then when a ratchet belt like this comes along, you have no idea what you're missing. If I need to tighten up my belt buckle because my pants are falling down, all I do is, and that's it. And then by the way, you can kind of see, this is old, I've had this since June. I've been wearing this basically every day for five months. So you can kind of see right there exactly where I've been wearing it. So after a while, you're gonna see that kind of wear through a little bit. On this side, where the teeth actually grab onto the belt, it's in no danger of coming loose. Like I said, I've been wearing this every day for five months and this thing has never once slipped on me. So how do you loosen it? All you have to do is there's this little tab right here on the bottom. All you have to do is push it and it's spring loaded. So push it in real quick, loosen it up and then boom, tighten it back up, give it a pull, loose, pull. 
and it took a couple days to get used to, but now it's like second nature. I don't see myself going back to a traditional belt anytime soon. Then of course, you just lift that up. If you wanna take this buckle off again, say you have multiple belt buckles that you like to wear, just open it like that and it slips right off. Now, this is made of grade one titanium and I've already managed to scratch the heck out of it right there. I don't know what the heck I did, but this titanium belt is looking beat. I already showed you the wear marks that's happening in the actual full grain leather here. But overall, it's in pretty darn good shape. It's double stitched here, as you can see. And other than that, there's really nothing else wrong with this belt. I put these things to the ringer, you can tell. I mean, look what I did to the titanium belt buckle, you know? And then this belt looks almost brand new still. And that's what I really like about this. This sewn in track system here is flawless. I mean, after wearing it every day, they don't even look worn down at all, you know? And there's 40 different increments here. So if for whatever one day I gain a couple inches of my belt, which would never, I hope that never happens. But if I do, I mean, I'm covered. Now, I know ratcheting belts have been around for decades now. I've just never heard of them until these guys got a hold of me. So once again, I want to thank Core Essentials for sending me this belt. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting a couple more belt buckles and a couple different color um, belts here, the straps. Um, I see on their website, they actually had the the nylon ones that look actually really cool. I'm probably gonna get a nylon one for work. One problem I have noticed with it though, is this right here. So the more you take it out, the more these teeth on the inside of your belt buckle kind of loosen up, it kind of loosens its grasp on your actual uh, leather belt. So the other day, after I took this off a few times, um, it kind of got loose and fell open and my belt buckle fell off. But that's my problem. Uh, because I kept taking this belt buckle off to check it out because I wanted to see if I did any more damage to it. And that's an easy fix though. All you have to do is just cut another little small piece off this belt here and then put it a couple, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch down there. And then you got some brand new leather to grab onto and press it hard as you can. And then there you go. And I'm probably gonna end up doing that right now just to show you an example. All right, so you see where the holes are there. So I'm thinking maybe cut it about I don't know, about right about there. And okay, there you go. So you can see where the holes are now. So open that back up. Put it back in there as so. And then the first time you're going to close it, it takes some force. There we go. So yeah, that's a nice nice firm hold of that leather belt. And then that's all it takes. Quick solution, don't take off your belt buckle if you don't have to. But if you do, just prepare that this might become loose and um, it's never fell off when I was wearing it. It was just when I took it off and dropped it on the ground, this popped open. So all of their belts carry a 30 day money back guarantee and a full one year warranty against defects, unusual wear or breakage. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Core Essentials track belt. I really wasn't lying when I said it's the most comfortable belt I have ever used in my life. With those quarter inch increments, you can get it to the exact tightness you want to. And if you go one too tight, just simple as that and then boom. And with all the tools that I have hanging off my belt at any given time at work, I really can't see myself going back to a traditional belt with holes one inch apart. It just doesn't make sense to me when you have ratchet belts like this that are available on the market. So let me know in the comments below if you guys do have a track belt or if you want to pick one up for yourself, I will leave a link in my description box where you can get yourself one. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!